What is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and if you guys saw the news then you guys know that Apple just released their 8th beta for iPadOS 14.5 and that marks the first time that Apple has ever gone to a beta 8 with any major iPadOS or even iOS update if you go all the way back to iOS you know I guess 1, 2, 3, and 4 when they were doing all the betas back then. So this is the largest amount of betas we're going to get and we still haven't even had the Golden Master, GM, or RC edition. So let's see what Apple has for us. But again this probably just means that we're getting a lot of updates to more bug fixes than anything else, right? But without further ado, let's see exactly what Apple has cooking for us on Beta 8. And if you guys can, check out our channel sponsor, Paperlike, down below to always stay protected and make sure your screen on your iPad retains that value. So when you do resell it to get that new iPad coming out soon, you get the most out of your iPad. But let's get right into the video. <music> Before we actually get started, I did want to bring up the Apple Spring Loaded event that's happening on April 20th, so a week from today, which is the Spring Loaded. So Apple is finally announcing that they're having an event in April. At first we got WWDC on the schedule in June, but and people were thinking, hey, we're not going to have an April event. But it looks like we're getting it, and I'm assuming we're going to get something spring related in terms of the season. So maybe air tags, because people are back and moving around and they need their, their things to be located at all times. Some sort of iPad, I'm hoping, but again, I don't really know. My biggest thing is I do think we're going to get air tags at this event and perhaps a new iPad, but let's see what they do. So now if we go into the update itself, if we go into the images, you can see that I didn't actually get the screenshot correct when it came to the actual size, but you're looking at about 100 to 120 megabytes, so give yourself almost 300 gigabytes or 300 megabytes of space if you're going to install this update, just to make sure you have enough space. But again, we're rocking iPadOS 14.5 Beta 8, and if we go into the settings, and we go into the About to check out that build number, if we click on here, we're still on the A iteration, so what that means is we're on 18E5199A. So basically what that means is that Apple still has to release their GM or their RC edition depending on what they're gonna go with this time around. So we're still not at that final stage, but we're pretty much there from a functionality standpoint because if I go into the actual what's new section of this video, there is nothing visually new. I think Apple's just kind of refixing bugs because they did have that major Siri update and then the AirTags update or the Find My update that allowed for third party vendors and third-party products to be allowed into that Find My ecosystem. So I think from this standpoint, Apple is just kind of fixing everything, making sure everything is nice and tightly screwed so when it does release to the public, people don't have crazy issues. Because again, the main things that we saw in the last two updates, if I want to show you guys real quick, is if you go into Siri, you now have four different voices to go from and they got rid of the, the male and female notation of what they were. Now they're just voice one through four. And then also with the Find My, we are now have the ability to add third-party items even though they're not made by Apple. So things like Tile, the new Chololo that came out, there's some headphones that come pre-built with this. So it all really depends on how big that accessory ecosystem is going to get. And I think it's going to just be that much better than all the competitors out there because there's so many Apple devices in the world that are going to help locate those lost items. So it's still not the perfect GPS tracker that everybody wants, but it'll definitely help out when tracking down some of your lost items. But from a what's new standpoint, again, there really wasn't anything new. And then the one thing that I do want to touch on is the battery life. So if we go into battery percentage right here, you can see that today at least we're on two hours and 53 minutes of screen on time and 20 minutes of screen off time. But if I go to the last five days, you can see that we're averaging about an hour and 27 minutes of screen on time. So if I go down here, you can see that I spent about three hours and 37 minutes of usage on the iPad and that took up almost 100% of my battery. So I want to say we're at that 90% mark. If I bring this up closer, you can see that my battery life is really not doing that well. So it's kind of tough to say if it's the, the beta that's hurting the battery, if it's the old age of my 2018 iPad Pro, or that I'm playing a very intensive game right here, like NBA 2K on the Apple Arcade, because if I go here, that's still there. You can see that even 28 minutes of screen on time takes up 48% of my battery because it's an intensive game, and my battery optimization isn't really there. So. Overall, I'm still getting about three hours of screen on time, maybe four, depending on what I'm using it for, but it's nowhere near that eight to 10 hour mark that for Apple first sold me this iPad on. But that's the battery life. I'm hoping Apple fixes this with the public release, or I might have to go get this battery replaced, or I might just have to commit to this new 2021 iPad that's coming out because I missed or skipped on the 2021. But that's pretty much it. Let's get out of this view and go to the normal view.
So that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. Like I said, there weren't any physical changes to iPadOS Beta 8 or iPadOS 14.5 Beta 8. It was all just bug fixes, function fixes, making sure that it's ready to go, especially if Apple's gonna have an event in one week on April 20th, right? So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Again, nothing too crazy. Apple's just kind of solidifying everything for us, but that's gonna do it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys updated or if you guys are just gonna wait until Apple finally releases 14.5 to everybody else. Until next time. Oh, 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 oh,